Hi guys, this was a request by Danny um, to use sheet metal uh, and show you the possibilities for di taking this directly out as a DXF and using it on a, a laser cutter. So the project is um, a very simple egg holder made of say 3mm ABS, so I'm going to go through that with you now. A new part, and rather than doing a standard millimetre dot IPT, we're going to use this one here, which is a sheet metal millimetre dot IPT. And if you open this, you can see the user interface is actually slightly different. So in here, you can have your sheet metal defaults. Uh, at the moment, there's only one, which or sorry, two, which is the defaults that Inventor puts in. You can actually make your own ones. So what you could do is, if your school gets in three mil ABS, four mil stainless steel, etc., you can put all of these down here as different types. Um, but for the just for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick that so I can change the thickness. Uh, I'm going to say this is made out of 3mm acrylic, uh, uh, sorry, 3mm ABS. So I'm going to change that in there. Okay, we'll leave this as is. So if it apply now, what that's done is all the settings now mean that what I model in will only be 3mm thick ABS plastic. Okay, I'm just going to change the colour of that just to something that um, looks a little more. Aesthetics, let's change it to red. So we're now doing red ABS plastic, which is 3mm thick. You still start the same, so you create 2D sketch or press S. Uh, I'm then going to select this XY plane here uh, and I'm going to draw uh, a square. So I'm going to use polygon. You could use your line tool up here, you could use rectangle. I'm going to use polygon, change that to four edges, and then it works the same as a center point circle. So if you see what I mean, I can now draw from the center point out and draw a square. I'm going to use my vertical constraint up here to dictate that this line should be vertical. I'm then going to use dimension tool, I'll press D on the keyboard to give this dimension of 60. So you can now see what we're doing. And If I press finish sketch, because I've completed all the stuff I want to do in 2D, and press F6 just to go into the home view here, if I press face, it's the same as an extrude in the normal modeling, so I don't have the option to do the distance because of course I've just told it everything I'm going to model from now on will be of 3mm ABS. So if I hit apply, you can see it's given me that red 3mm thick there. And now what we can actually do is rather than then saying I want to do another extrude up here and that sort of thing, there's a button up here called flange. And what this allows you to do is actually add a folded edge onto any of these edges. So if I, for example, select this edge, you can see what it's done there. It's actually giving me um, a fold without having to draw the material first. So I'm going to change that and make that 60mm. You can change where that 60mm is measured from, whether it's the underside, the top side, the mid plane, using all of these here. Okay. And you can change the angle. So if, say, for example, I change to 45, you can, if I just rotate that around, you can see what it's done there. Okay. I'm going to leave that at 90 and hit OK. So now you can see what that's done there, it's added on. The other option we could have had is drawn um, a piece at 120mm and then done a sketch to draw a line and folded it up. But the thing with the flange is it's a lot quicker, in my opinion. So then what we're also going to do is another flange uh, along the top. And we're going to it keeps the settings that you've just done. So 60mm, 90 degrees, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to OK that one as well. What I'm going to do, just to make it look a bit more jazzy, I'm going to add a, a chamfer. So I'm going to pick these two edges here and uh, change that to say, look, say 20mm. And then we need to do the circle, obviously, for the egg to sit in. So I'm going to do a sketch, pressing S, I'll go up there on this top face. I'm going to draw a circle, I'm going to snap to that midpoint there, I'm going to draw it 32mm. And if I finish that sketch, so for extrude to add material, there's face, and if you want to take the material away, there's one called cut, and then select that circle there, and it's going to extrude that by the thickness. Okay, so we know that's already 3mm. If it OK, you can see that's put that in there. Now we've got our completed egg holder. So I'm just going to save that one. And now the great thing we can do here is if I click create flat pattern, you can see what it's done there is it's given me the dimensions there to the the bend line and it also gives you the bend radius. So now go back to the folded part. I'm going to save that. I'm going to take that into a drawing just so you can see how that works. So I'm going to go into new and just open uh, an ISO template. 
and I'm going to do my base view. So at the moment it's in folded model, okay? So if I then put those two views in, I can also do a projected view off of there. And put that one up there, so just rearrange these to make a little bit of room. If I double click on a view, I can then edit it, and I'm just going to add on the colour there just for clarity. But what I can also do is in base view, I can change it to flat pattern. And then that actually allows me to put in that flat pattern, which I can then dimension to where those bend lines are. And the other thing you can do is when you've finished your drawing, when you go up into your application menu and you go save as, if you go to save copy as, you can actually save directly there as a DXF. And a DXF file can be sent straight to your laser cutter. But that very quickly is doing that egg cup holder. I hope that made sense. If not, just give me a shout and I can update the video. But hopefully that will work for you.